Hank is a cowboy. He lives on a farm. He has a horse named Ginger. Hank loves Ginger. He rides Ginger every day. Sometimes they walk slowly, and sometimes they run fast. They always have a good time. Ginger is Hank's horse. She is light brown. Her tail and mane are dark brown. She is three years old. She lives in the stable by the house. Ginger waits for Hank every morning. She enjoys their time together. Often, Hank gives her apples. After long rides, Hank always washes and brushes Ginger. He usually brushes her tail. Then he gives her food and fresh water. Ginger loves Hank. Right now, it is Monday morning. Mike and Tina are at home. They are sitting at a table. They are eating breakfast. At this moment, Tina is drinking coffee. She is eating a pastry. She is sitting across the table from Mike. She is talking to Mike. Mike is Tina's husband. He is sitting at the table with Tina. He is also drinking coffee. Mike is listening to Tina. After breakfast, Mike and Tina are leaving for work. They work in the city. They are riding the bus to work. Mabel Jones lives in Florida in the United States. Her grandchildren live in London, England. They have lived in London for three years. Mabel has not seen her grandchildren in over a year. She has talked to her grandchildren on the phone and through emails many times. She has also seen pictures of her grandchildren. They have grown so much since the last time they visited America. Mabel knits scarves and blankets to send to her grandchildren in London. So far, she has knitted two large blankets for her granddaughters. She has also knitted a scarf for each grandchild. Ruth and Martha are best friends. They have been spending time together since they were young girls. Every morning, they get dressed and walk to the post office together. They have been walking together to the post office every morning for the past 10 years. Lately, Martha has not been feeling well. Ruth has been walking to the post office alone each morning. Then she visits Martha at home. She has been bringing Martha her mail every morning for two weeks. She hopes Martha feels better soon. One autumn evening, Charles and Beth went to the theater. They attended a play. The play started at 7 o'clock. Charles and Beth enjoyed the theater. After the play, Charles and Beth walked together in the park. They walked beside the lake. The moon was bright. They talked about their future. When Charles and Beth went home, their children were not asleep. They waited for Charles and Beth to return. They were excited to hear about the theater. 
Charles told the children about the play. Then, Beth put the children to bed. Charles and Beth were very tired. It was a good night. Mitch was always driving his motorcycle too fast. Yesterday after work, Mitch was driving his motorcycle home. While everyone else was driving slowly, he was speeding through the streets. He wasn't paying attention and was driving too fast when he saw the police officer. While the police officer was directing traffic, he saw Mitch speeding down the street. He was waving his arms when Mitch stopped. The police officer wrote him a traffic ticket for speeding. Mitch was not feeling happy when he arrived home. Last night, Dane and Emily danced in a competition. They danced a salsa dance. They had practiced for six months before they danced in the competition. They were very good. Dane and Emily's friends were in the audience. Before that night, they had never seen Dane and Emily dance. In fact, Dane and Emily had never danced in front of anyone before the competition. After everyone had danced, the judges announced the winners. Dane and Emily won. They were the best dancers in the competition. Emily said she had never practiced so hard before. She was glad they had practiced a lot. Patrick had been playing the guitar for about 15 years. Many years ago, his grandfather played the guitar in a band. He taught Patrick how to play the guitar when Patrick was just 10 years old. Patrick had been practicing the guitar ever since. He had been playing for his friends and family for many years. Last night, Patrick played his guitar on a television show. He had been hoping to be on this show since he first saw it on television five years ago. He played in front of a live studio audience. The audience cheered and clapped for Patrick. Patrick knew he was good because he had been playing the guitar for a long time. Now everyone knew that Patrick was a good guitar player. There is going to be a wedding today. At 4 o'clock this afternoon, Megan Smith and Mark Jones are going to get married. After today, they will be Mr. and Mrs. Mark Jones. It is going to be a huge celebration. Everyone will be there. They are going to serve dinner and dessert. The best man will give a speech. Then everyone will dance. The dance will last until midnight. The day after the wedding, Megan and Mark are going to leave for their honeymoon. They are going to travel to Hawaii. They are going to stay there for seven days. They will have a good time in Hawaii. Brad likes to fish. He fishes whenever he can. This weekend, he will be fishing at the lake. It is his favorite place to fish. Mark is Brad's friend. Mark likes to fish too. He also fishes whenever he can.
This weekend you will be fishing at the lake with Brad. They will be camping at the lake all weekend. Mark will be picking Brad up at 8 o'clock Friday night. Brad will be ready when Mark arrives. They will be driving all night before they get to the lake. They are excited about the weekend. Brad and Mark both love to fish. They love to fish together. They will be fishing together for many years. Mr. Jones is a farmer. He owns a big farm. He plants crops in his fields in the spring. By the time he finishes planting the spring, he will have planted 10 acres of crops. He is going to have planted many crops. Mr. Jones must finish planting before it starts to rain. He is working hard. At this rate, he will have finished planting before it rains. Mr. Jones and his horse will have worked many long hours by the time they finish tonight. Pete is a window washer. Today, he is going to be washing windows on the 13th floor of a downtown office building. He will have been washing windows for almost 10 hours when he finishes all of the windows on the 13th floor. He will be very tired tonight because he will have been working so hard. Although the work is difficult, Pete enjoys his job. In August, he will have been working as a window washer for five years. He will have been washing windows in this city for the past five years. Learn English with native speakers. English Free Channel.